Week one is in the books. Of course, there were some injuries. You want to tweak your roster a little bit. It's time for something I like to call Pick Me Up. That's right, waiver wire grabs. Let me ask you something. Do you know who's only owned and rostered in 3% of leagues right now on NFL.com? Carson Wentz. And hell, pick up Jahan Dotson while you're at it. Wentz looked awfully comfortable on Sunday. 313 yards, four touchdowns, third highest scoring quarterback. He was a top three fantasy quarterback this week. What? Behind only Mahomes and Josh Allen. Um, because I love you and because I know you're busy and I'm not and I'm a loser. I looked at the schedule. It looks pretty good. Lions, Eagles, Cowboys up ahead. If you lost one Dak Prescott, scoop up Wentz. Uh, by the way, that's not the only mention of Wentz in the show, so don't worry about that. All right, let's move it along here. Curtis Samuel, yeah, we're staying in Washington, baby. One of his favorite targets on Sunday, uh, racked up eight catches, 55 yards, 11 targets. He had a touchdown as well. He also ran the ball four times for 17 yards, which we love. He finished top 15 at wide receiver in PPR leagues, and I think if he continues to get that kind of volume, and he should, he is worth having on your Wastroth Waster on your waster. This is my Washington peeking through here. All right, Jalen Warren. Okay, here's the deal. Najee, as I pointed out, I'm worried about Najee. Well, listen, he's battling through this Liz Frank. He downplayed it week one. Let's be honest, it's already a concern. So he didn't look right Sunday, 12 touches, just 26 yards. He had to leave the game. You know, there's a report saying he's going to go. He'll play for the, against the Patriots this weekend. I'm going to just go ahead and say, let's just prepare for the worst case scenario. Scoop up his backup. He's an undrafted rookie, Jalen Warren, out of Oklahoma State. He played on 37% of snaps on Sunday, and I think he's the guy, and he is the guy if Najee does miss time, and I expect him to. All right. More running backs for you because I love you guys. 49ers backfield, let's do it. Jeff Wilson and Tyreon Davis-Price. That's right, not Tyrion. He's not of Westeros fame. Uh, but these are the two guys you want because Elijah Mitchell, of course, slated to miss two months with that sprained MCL. Shanahan loves to run the ball. I don't love playing any of this backfield because of his Shanahanigans that he does uh, in the backfield, but Jeff Wilson started four times last year. Guess what he averaged in yards per game? 73 total and two touchdowns. So third round pick Tyrion Davis Price out of LSU, uh, inactive Sunday because he doesn't play on special teams, but given that he was the second player on the Niners selected in the draft this April, I think they're probably gonna give him some opportunities at some point. Last but not least, let's go to the Chargers. Why not, shall we? Josh Palmer, this is an easy plug and play. Keenan Allen banged up. Look his way, second year receiver for the Chargers. Quiet week one, but because, you know, Keenan is out, and because of the game that Keenan missed last season where Palmer had five catches for 66 yards and a touchdown on seven targets, he is a must-own in fantasy leagues. <sighs> that felt good. Yeah, so we're going Washington heavy. We got little Jalen Warren insurance for Najee Harris, who I'm worried about. Backfield I'm not th that excited about in San Francisco, but of course one of them is going to go off. It's never going to be the one you play. Never that, but at least you can give yourself that migraine. This entire backfield should be sponsored by Excedrin, in my opinion, and Josh Palmer as a wide receiver. All right, we've got more to get to on the show. Up next, some power rankings with one Matt Moneysmith. Let me just, oh, let me see. I really like that part of the fantasy football season where I was drafting and full of optimism. Okay, sure, we'll be back. <laughs> 